It was an extraordinary act of bravery. In just 30 seconds, a young man scaled a building in Paris on Saturday night and saved a child who'd been dangling from the fourth floor. Mobile phone pictures of the heart-stopping moment went viral, prompting a search for the hero. He was soon identified as 22-year-old Mamadou Gassama. I saw a boy who fell from the fifth floor. I think I like children a lot. I don't want for something bad to happen to them in front of me. It would have broken my heart. I ran. I thought of ways to rescue him. Thank God I climbed up and I saved him. The next day, the mayor of Paris said she'd spoken to Gassama, revealing he was a Malian refugee without papers. He explained to me that he had arrived from Mali a few months ago, dreaming of building his life here. Thousands of people had signed an online petition calling on France to grant Gassama residency. Hailed as a hero by so many people, he was invited to meet the French president. When I began to climb, it gave the courage to keep going. So it all happened very fast. After I saved the child, I suddenly became scared. The police came and took us inside the apartment. I was shaking all over. Gassama had arrived at the Elysee as an illegal immigrant and came out with a promise of French citizenship, an award for his bravery and a job with the fire brigade. In the neighbourhood where the events took place, people had gathered to look. Well, this is where that amazing rescue took place. If you look up at that fence with the sharp points on the top, Mamadou uh, Gassam would have had to scale that, then up those four balconies. And from this perspective, it looks incredibly high. And that is why his act of bravery has really captured the imagination of so many people across France and across the world. I think he did it spontaneously and did not think it would have this impact. It's great he's been recognised. French authorities say the father of the boy had gone shopping, leaving his son alone. He's been taken into custody. Meanwhile, Gassama's coming to terms with his newfound fame in a country where the debate over refugees has long divided opinion. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.